Season three of Vault Hunters. Yeah, it's out and it's big. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set up a server, one that you can host off your own PC. And before I jump into it, you can call me Zoofy Zuffy Zoofire Zoof. And this is Zoofology. Let's start off by installing Java in a very specific version of Java. So I'll have it linked to the description down below. So go ahead and go to this website and click latest LTS release. Now from here, just save it and find where that is and double click it in your folder. This will start it and install it. Hit next until you get to install. And yes, you want to allow it to make changes to your device. And finish. So that's now complete. And I'm going to go ahead and remove this from my system, the installation at least. Step two, you're going to go to this page here, which I'll have for step two in the description below. And right here, you have the most recent version of the server pack. I'm going to download it. Make sure you download the most recent server pack because we're currently on alpha and there will definitely be more updates. I'm gonna wait for it to download. Okay, it started the download. So now I'm gonna to go to that and I'm gonna do, I'm going to actually hit control X and I'm going to move this to my windows and I'm going to hit control V. And yes, I do wanna provide administrator permissions. Now I'm going to extract it. Uh, I'm on Windows 11, so I have to hit Shift F10 for whatever reason to get to the right normal right-click menu and extract. All right, and there it is. It finished up. I'm going to delete the original zip, and I'm going to rename what it just extracted. I'm going to rename it to vh-server because this is where primarily this is where our server is going to be hosted at. Step three, we will be downloading and installing Forge to the proper location. So I will have a link in the description, which will take you to the exact version you need. And it's going to look like this. It's going to start counting down. Wait three seconds, two seconds, and then you'll hit skip. It'll start to download Forge for you. So go ahead and save it. All right, find where it's saved. Open it up. Select install server, and you're actually going to go to this PC right where you have your server installed, the C drive, and then find it, vh-server, right here. Open it, and now it knows to install it right there. And you can hit OK. It will now install all of the files that it needs. Now we have just finished installing Forge, so now we have run, run.sh, and user JVM arguments. We did not have these before. I'm going to edit this, the run.bat, and in the description I have a replacement. You're going to just highlight all of this and replace it with what I have for job, Java arguments. Just like that. And then you can save it. Step five, we're now gonna tell our server how much RAM to use. We'll do that by editing this notepad document here, or text document, user JVM args. So I'm gonna open it up and I'll have what you need to paste down beneath in the description, but it's gonna be as simple as XMS 4G, and that's gonna say use a minimum of four gigabytes all the time of RAM and XMX for maximum of eight gigs. So eight gigs is gonna hold, basically allow two people to connect to the server at a time. Um, three people will be 10, four people 12, five people 14, 16 per six people, and you get the idea. 
two gigs for every additional person after four. And now you are ready to just run it. So what it is going to do is it's going to tell you that EULA isn't met and it's going to generate the EULA right there. So you can go ahead and type here and go into here, into the EULA, edit it. And we're gonna change this to true. True, and of course I'm gonna save it. Now I should be able to run it and the server will actually stay on this time. All right, as you can see, my Minecraft server panel just came open and it's going to start generating the spawn area. Okay, so now I am ready to just, I'll come over here and do it. I'm going to whitelist, space add, and then my name, Zufi. And as you can see, added Zufi to the whitelist. So now I'm able to join. I do suggest going to the last video I recorded for a Vault Hunter server. There you can learn how to freeze an IP, how to port forward. It will also show you how to find the IP for one of your friends to be able to join you. So now for the next step, we're going to be showing you how to connect to your own server. Add a server and I'll have it in the description, but it's just 0000 25565. Now, no one else is going to be able to use this, but you yourself can. And again, in the other video that I have in the description, it'll show you how to find the IP for a friend to join your server. And after that, you should be good to start playing with your friends. If the video helps you out, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to help me out extra, feel free to leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. That's it for this video. Good luck to everyone with their servers.